favourite summary of your career to date? Yeah, I mean, if, if you can call it a career, it seems very accidental to me. Um, I decided to, I've been doing this quite a long time. Uh, I decided I wanted to get into advertising third year at university. Applied for the milk round. Complete fucking disaster. What university? Cambridge. And what, what year? Uh, oh, cheaper. So I uh, graduated in 1989. Let's go 1989. <laughs> uh, and I... And I did all that kind of milk round, I don't think that still happens, but that milk round stuff, uh, applied to loads of agencies, got into none, um, got rejected by here, fucking hell, I've still got the letter. Then what happened was I got into, um, like I responded, there was an, an ad in Media Guardian, must have been about September 1989, saying, by the year 2000, 90% of direct mar marketing will be direct marketing. And I thought, that sounds like good idea. So I applied to a direct marketing agency to get on their graduate uh, thing and uh, and got in. It's an agency that was completely sort of pointless uh, and irrelevant and collapsed as soon as the recession bit uh, around about 1990. But I worked with a guy called uh, Chris Barraclough, who's a great director, and Simon Hall, who's the managing director. And they went off to set up an agency called Barraclough Hall, Walston Gray, which is now uh, Proximity. Uh, and I went with them because I was incredibly cheap, incredibly young, and I could put IKEA furniture together. <laughs> uh, so we set that up. Uh, and then they kind of twigged about three years in that I was a really, very, very, very bad account handler. Owing largely to my inability to make difficult uh, phone calls, uh, which seems to be one of the great skills of an account handler. Uh, and so they sent me to Abbott Mead, which just acquired uh, Prop. Well, by Barrett Hall. Yeah. This is about 19. Uh, this is 1993. And so that, I went to be a planner at Abbott Mead. I thought it was, you know, where I would die. And I thought it was an Abbott Mead man and boy. Uh, and then I realised it wasn't quite that middle class, um, uh, despite appearances. So um, I got a, uh, a chance to go to HHCL in its absolute fucking heyday. Uh, 97, I was 30, uh, went to uh, HHCL to work on Tango, which was an amazing experience, did loads and loads of things there, stayed there for 10 years because I drank the cultural Kool-Aid, uh, and then uh, that all uh, collapsed in 2007, uh, and I was one of the last people to switch the lights off at HHCL, which was a very sad moment, spent uh, nine months, uh, thanks to Martin Sorrell's generosity, uh, kind of just hanging out, doing a bit of consultancy. And then I got a job when Robert Senior arrived here and said, all right, I'm going to restore Sarti's birthright. And an agency that, frankly, I wouldn't have touched with a shitty stick up until that point, Robert arrived and transformed everything. I came on board, as did Paul Silburn, and I think we started here to create an agency that is as brilliant as it once was and uh, my, may yet change the London advertising industry, or perhaps global advertising industry. For you, what's the best thing about agency life? Uh, the people, and that sounds a really glib thing, but what's sort of accidentally happened in advertising is that we've created an industry that's uniquely populated by incredibly clever and uh, creative and talented people uh, that kind of flock to the business. And so basically you get to hang out all day with brilliant people. And I look at other sectors and think, you know, basically you have to hang out all day with arseholes. And there are one or two arseholes, but by and large, this is just that it is the people you, you meet, extraordinary human beings. I have to say, agency side, I still get a real thrill out of, you know, a day that involves uh, mobile phones, sausages, male testicular cancer, beer, you know, the, the sort of eclecticism of our lives is brilliant. If there's someone you'd like Source to interview, or a question you'd like us to ask, then put it in the comments below now. If you'd like to meet more of London's creative industry, subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button above. And don't forget to like this video below. Thanks for watching.